we see today many companies continue to hire illegal foreigners many companies continue to hire even just foreigners who are here illegally in excluding south africans why is it so after all it's the market it's business why is it so why are they choosing foreigners and not choosing south africans is it because of the payment is it because they can get away with a lot of things with foreigners today i have a clip of mr gaten mckenzie explaining the reason and exposing why these companies choose to hire and employ foreigners over local citizens of south africa it's an interesting take he has to say and i feel like and i believe you guys should listen to him for better understanding and listen to him to also make your own conclusion based on what has been said there is a clip all these illegal foreigners that here yeah hey, look our population went from 57 to 63 million mm. South Africans don't have so much sex South Africans are not staying in the in the maternity ward all day every day it is impossible for South Africans to have basically close to 10 million children in such a sports space of time it has never happened it's unnatural no country they've counted all the Zimbabweans all the uh, Nigerians yeah all the Malawians. actually in terms of the statistics they're saying there are only two million foreigners they are lying let me tell you why they are lying why is in that? you see my brother South Africa has been colonized by illegal foreigners hmm. we have been cost now before I tell you why am I saying they are lying let me give you my last policy the legal foreigner one okay he will mess deport all illegal foreigners number yeah. one number two there will be no company no country in south africa that will hire illegal foreigners we will revoke your license no com no company you're no, company. no company yeah yes we'll because i tell you why they they prefer illegal foreigners yeah they don't pay uif they are not unionized they can just fire and hire them and they can exploit them and that's why they prefer illegal foreigners yeah. and that's why they don't even need to pay them the minimum wage but when they hire south african they have to jump through the hoops of paying the taxes paying uh, making sure that this person is properly registered this person has the right to be unionized all the things that people fought for previously so i'm saying to you the pa is different we are saying mass deportation and then yeah. we are not finishing there yeah if you are a foreigner here if you are foreigner here you must come with a special skill you must you can't just be a foreigner here yeah and come not with a special skill a special skill is not a teacher a special skill is a brain surgeon something that this country needs is a special skill ah, we don't need waiters we don't need gardeners we don't need security guards there's nothing special skill about that just yet the clip of course this was before elections it was it was interviewed by jj tawan so he's exposing that these companies they rather hire illegal foreigners foreigners because it's easy to exploit foreigners even chulas malema has been saying that like these people are treated as slaves they are being exploited and south african people they want better living standards they want better working standards they want better hours they want to be paid accordingly and I agree, South Africans should be paid accordingly, should be paid the way they should be paid, according to the law, according to the minimum uh, wage laws, and all of those things, employment, labor laws. They should be paid and should be hired accordingly. But that's on paper. That's not in reality. In reality is that it's not just foreigners who are being exploited. Even South Africans themselves are being exploited working in car dealerships there's no benefits you're just getting a 3000 3.5 4000 basic minimum wage working in retail a mall, being exploited you know no benefits nothing so it's not just foreigners by the way even our own south africans these companies are exploiting so this fight is not against the foreigners hey foreigners are taking our jobs it's not about them it's not against them it's against the system it's against the companies who are enforcing uh, these behaviors 
the same companies who are hiring these illegal foreigners the fight must be taken to them i'm still waiting for mr gatian mckenzie to go and challenge these shops who are hiring illegal foreigners expose these shops and call them out for their bullshit i'm waiting for that day because even you remember that building that collapsed it was very unfortunate uh, some people were working there was foreigners or zimbabweans namibians the building fell on them do you know what mr gatian mckenzie said it's like they deserve it why didn't they go back home it's like abashu they deserve it no sympathy nothing because somehow they are foreigners but i didn't hear him say anything about the company that hired those people about the boss who was hiring those people about the ceo of that construction nothing just attacking the poor foreigners who have been exploited so guys all i'm saying is that this discussion this conversations it's fine if you want to blame foreigners for everything but nothing will change as long as you are saying foreigners this foreigners that why are companies hiring why are companies not being inspected why like there's a law that comes with it there's people who need to inspect why is the mall allowing this shop this company to hire illegal foreigners in our mall the mall is involved the ceo of the business is involved other south africans who are also working there together with these illegal immigrants they are quiet they're not speaking up they are also involved you see a lot of things are involved a lot of people are involved so all i'm saying is that let's not lose the fight by being emotional and just throwing hate without really trying to solve the problem and involving everyone who's involved in the problem that's all i'm saying but what mr kitchen mckenzie said there is true it's not a lie this one i agree with him but the fight is gonna take i don't agree with it because the approach is wrong the approach doesn't instig the approach is not about helping something i've realized with these people who want to chase foreigners these organizations operation to do la about mr herman mashawa they will throw all the rhetoric against the foreigners they will never come up with solutions how to deal with it constructive solutions written down whereby you can read and be like yeah yeah so this is what the police will do the inspectors will do this the government will intervene like this the people will then do this the laws will be they never come up with solutions that are constructive they just throw tantrums throw hatred that's all and that's where i don't agree with this but what he's saying is right but does he have the right approach to deal with this i don't think so i don't think so and let's not lose the fight because many of our people our own south africans they are also being exploited when will we stand up and fight for them they are having it hard in the retail there when will we stand up for our own and fight for them against these companies fight for everyone even the same foreigners who are being exploited fight for them and also hold them accountable these foreigners illegal foreigners but also fight for our own plenty of our own are being exploited but no one cares all we care how oh, foreigners they're taking our jobs these businesses are exploiting everyone but it is what it is thank you very much